Welcome or welcome back on I need help at C square. In this example here we're gonna look to find sine and tangent of an angle that has a cosine of two thirds and a cotangent is positive. So the first thing here you wanna find out is where is that angle located? Is that angle in quadrant one? Is that an angle in quadrant two, three, or four? Right? For that reason we're gonna look the definition of the trigonometric function, right? So we see that cosine, cosine of theta, if you remember, is nothing else than x over r. This is being the x-axis, this being the y-axis. And r is always positive, so the only thing that makes a difference here is the x. So the cosine will be positive here and here. Because that is the moment where the x is positive. In the other two quadrants is going to be negative, right? But now, now, now let's take a look at the cotangent. Cotangent is defined as x over y. Right? In this case, either one can be positive, x or y or negative. So we're looking for a cotangent that is positive. That's happened when x and y have the same sign. That will be quadrant. One. And let me change the color here. All right. So, so this situation here happened when we are in quadrant one, x and y are very positive, or in quadrant three. So now looking to this picture, we realize that the angle we're looking for is in quadrant one. This is the only moment when we these two conditions are accomplished. So now because we know this. Uh, I guess we can redo a picture of an angle in quadrant one. Okay, initial side, and this is an angle in quadrant one. And now we're looking, and the cosine is two thirds. That tells us what? That if we get the point here, right? This is three, and this is two, right? We need to find this guy, which I'm going to call it y, because that will be, in fact, the y coordinate of the point. Okay, so what do we use when we have a right triangle like this? Obviously, Pythagorean theorem. And we have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay, so we're going to have, uh, and this is y. We're going to have a y squared plus 2 squared equals 3 squared. y squared plus 4 equals 9. Subtract 4, right? So we get y squared equals 5, and y will be square root of 5. I'm going to use it here in this format, and then I'm going to look back in this picture. And yeah, y needs to be positive. So now we know that we have this point, let's call it P, which has the coordinate what? Uh, 2 and square root of 5. And we can go and find sine and tangent. All right, tangent, sine of, of theta, if you remember, is defined as what? Y over R. So, that it is going to be in our case uh, square root of 5 over 3. And the last thing they ask us is tangent of theta. Tangent of theta is defined as y over x. So in this case, it will be square root of 5 over 2. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-squared. Thank you!